Hello, we see. It's Jorgen from Norway. Going to show you a video of my um, last uh, purchases. It is a metal uh, update. To start with, in the background, I'm playing um, this Aquarian Light Orchestra. Great um, Proto Doom uh, Psych band from Sweden. This is their second release. They had an EP and then this one. It's called uh, it's on the Cold Luciferian Light Orchestra. I recommend this if you like old um, yeah pentagram and canvas and stuff like that. And 60s uh, psych, 70s frog. So great album. First one today I'm gonna show you is um, and I really like it's uh, Watchtower. It's um, technical speed metal band. This is called Demonstrations of Cha in Chaos. It's a uh, it's a compilation album, double album. Um, it's from demos uh, back in 1983 until um, 1987. So it's uh, demos and, uh, and live recordings on this album. It's in yellow vinyl. Um, if you like Watchtower, I really recommend this album. So, it was released in uh, 2012 on Back on Black. So, Watchtower. Uh, next is uh, Enforcer from Sweden. Live by Fire. It's a live album from um, actually from Greece. They played in Greece in uh, 2013. So this is from uh, released on Nuclear Blast in 2015. It's a good live album. Of speed metal band from Sweden. I have to be quick because I have a big stack here. Um, Mayhem, live in Sarpsborg. Uh, it's official release actually. Um, with Dead on Vocals. Uh, released now um, in Peaceville. Brand new. So, um, it's got uh, some rare images and a uh, uh, eight page booklet it says on the hype sticker so it's one for the mayhem fans next one I got this week was uh, Robin Trower uh, Passion it's still sealed um, 1987 I didn't have this in my collection I liked Robin Trower The next one is um, I have this originally, an original release. This is a re-release with uh, some bonus tracks, and it uh, was released in only 800 copies. Saint Vitus, COD. It's uh, released on Season of Mist Records. It's a two LP set. Uh, hype sticker St. Vitus It's never wrong It's a great band uh, We had the record store day on Saturday And I went to a couple of uh, independent stores in my town And picked this up The Death Leopard EP It's released on a 12 inch It's actually original on a 7 inch so it's a one-sided P 
piece. It's nice to have. Next one is uh, Airborne. Uh, it's all for rock and roll. This is a um, bronze vinyl with poster. It's a limited edition 12 inch EP. It's dedicated to Lemmy Motorhead. It's also a record store day release. Airborne. This one I, I was happy to find. This one is also a record store daily release. It's the picture disc of the last alone from Dark Throne. Arctic Thunder. It's got a hype sticker. Nice package. Dark Throne. Arctic Thunder. Another record store they release is this one, Walkwind. It's the best of all the United Artists, years 1971 to 1974. It was um, uh, released in 3000 copies. You got uh, Silver, Silver Machine live at Roundhouse, Master of the Universe, Lord of Light, Space in Deep live. Lost Johnny, released on uh, Rhino Records. Hawkwind. And here's also a re release. Uh, it's uh, Iron Britain uh, Eat Metal. This was originally released in uh, back in 1985, I think. Doesn't say anything here, but I think it was 1985. Um, it's a traditional um, heavy metal. It was original on an independent label, and this is uh, released by Cult Metal Classics. It's a great label, uh, releasing some old uh, lost gems. Iron Britain. Heat metal. I had to buy this. It was missing in my collection for some time now, and um, I just had to buy it. So uh, before it's getting uh, more expensive, um, Scorpions face the heat. It's actually a good uh, Scorpions record released in 1993 so that's why it's hard to find there's the band you know the lyrics to good scorpions album face the heat and I got some uh, new stuff from um, night of the Wheel vinyl dead I collect. Uh, I have been collecting Night of the Will Vinyl Dead since the beginning, so I got all their releases and some test pressings as well. This is one of the latest. It's Grip Inc. with um, Dave, Dave Lombardo. Solidify. This was originally released only on CD. This is uh, released in 500 copies. It's a green splatter vinyl. Yeah. Gripping. Great band. Next one is also a Night of the Vinyl Dead release. It's uh, Amorphis. It's uh, forging the land of a thousand lakes. This is uh, pretty neat. It's got the gimmick gatefold sleeve. 
prepare the albums inside. They got some really nice packages on uh, Night of the Vinyl Dead. This is also released in 500 copies. Amorphis. Great layout. Great layout. <laughs> And this one is also a uh, Night of the Vinyl Dead. It's the first time on vinyl. It's Venom, live at the uh, Hammersmith Odeon Theatre. 1985. This one's got a pop-up sleeve. Great, great package. Also released in 500 copies. Mine is number 24. Venom. Then I got some new bands I haven't really had the time to listen to yet because it's only a couple of days since I bought these. These I got from, um, yeah, what they're called. They are called, um, it's actually a new record label. It's called uh, Diabolic Might Records. Uh, I think they're from Sweden. Um, so I bought some records uh, from their catalog. Um, first one here is uh, Hellhound. Tokyo Flying V Massacre. It's a band from. Uh, it's a Japanese band. It's uh, speed thrash metal. Looking forward to spin that one. Next one is uh, Vulture. Shocking its prey. This is their first album. Um, it's also a heavy metal, speed metal band. It's released on Heavy Artillery Records. Great cover art. Vulture. Next one is Entrench. It's a uh, Trash speed metal band from Sweden. It's called uh, Violent Prosecration. French. It's released on uh, War Anthem Records. 2014. And French. Uh, um, next one is uh, Metallian, Metal, Fire and Ice, it's also a trash heavy metal band. It's released on uh, Underground Power Records, it's in 333 copies. Great artwork. Next one is Tyranex, it's also a Swedish speed thrash metal band. Extermination has begun. Tyranex, looking forward to spin this as well. It's a great band. Also a new band for me, it's uh, Arkham, Arkham Witch. The album is called Hammer Storm. Can't go wrong with this artwork. Just have to buy them. So, looking forward to this as well.
another speed trash release that I bought is uh, sudden uh, sudden darkness fear of reality it's, um, this is was originally released back in 1988 I think So, oh, that's a great one. Uh, next one I got this week. Excalibur from um, United Kingdom, England. Carol Ann, 12 inch, 3 track. Uh, been looking for this in a while. Got a decent copy here, still sealed. Um, active records Excalibur from England and I picked this up except living for tonight it's a bootleg uh, uncut picture disc with one song Nice, nothing on the back side. Next one is uh, Moro's, uh, Moro's Nix, uh, Revolution Street. It's a US uh, speed uh, heavy metal band. Released on Underground Power Records. Moros Nix Norwegian Black Viking Metal Mistur Album is called in Memo Memoarium It's in uh, Gatefold Released on Dark Essence Records Mistur Iron Cobra, Might Magic, great artwork. It's released on um, Dying Victims Records. Iron Cobra. Nightmare 2. Death Dwells Part. So great artwork. Looking forward to spin this one. I got some old uh, records for the, from this band. I have to do have some classic as well. This is a new uh, live album from Deep Purple to the Rising Sun in Tokyo. This is a triple live album from um, 2015 Air Music They played in Tokyo in April in 2014 Triple album by Deep Purple It's great to have Picked up some um, other unknown bands also, got in the mail this week. This is one. It's called um, Blackout. Album is called The Horse. This is the test pressing. The Riding Easy Records. Test pressing on this album. Another test pressing from Rise, Rising EDEC Records is uh, this. It's uh, the band called Brown Acid, the fourth trip. A 
looking forward to hear this one. Electric Citizen. Also released on the Riding Easy Records. I guess it's a kind of a psychedelic doom, doomish metal. Great cover art. Holy Serpent. Temples, also a release by Riding Easy, I like their releases. Doomish Psych, I think. Here as well, it's called The Well. Uh, Pagan Science, it's called. also riding easy records looking forward to spin all these new records RIP RIP it's only called RIP it's also riding easy records Kind of stone or doom, I think. Great. I got so much records uh, in the last uh, last week, um, so um, I just go on, make it a thirty-minute video, maybe. Uh, this is a band called Sacred Pew, Shadow Kingdom Records, Beyond the Iron Walls, Live, Love to Buy albums that I haven't heard, never heard about the band, I've got a great, great uh, cover art and it's metal I buy it, just like that. Here's a Norwegian brand new band I haven't heard about. It's called uh, Jagged Vision. It's a trash speed metal band. It's great. Jagged Vision, brand new. If you like speed trash metal, I recommend you this album. Jagged Vision from Norway. Hunters, I confess, confess it's a new Swedish band, um, yeah, they play um, 80s um, hard rock, hair metal style, it's a decent album, uh, I liked it. I was a bit surprised because I thought when I saw the cover art and I thought this was some trash, speed trash metal band, but um, the band is called Confess. It's got a poster inside. No, yeah. Picture. The band. See, they have some 80s sleaze hair metal look. It's also on Diabolic Might Records. I recommend you to uh, visit their site. Got some really great records there. And decent prices as well. 
some more records, some more bands I haven't heard about. Uh, here is one, it's called One Desire. It's a brand new band. Um, it's released on uh, Frontiers. Looks like standard heavy metal. Looking forward to spin this one as well. One Desire. Then I bought a new album from Thunder. Thunder have been existing since the late 80s. This is called Rip It Up. It's a two LP set. Haven't heard these guys since Backyard, Backyard Symphony time. I think it was in 1989. So I'm looking forward to hear the Thunder from 2017. Another band I've heard about, but I haven't heard the music yet. It's uh, Freedom Call, Masters of Light. Picked up this as well. I think it's um, some power power metal. I don't know. Happy to find out. Same with these guys, I think these play power metal, speed power metal, it's called uh, Firewind, Immortal, Immortals, Mortals, also brand new from 2017, Firewind. Also a new band for my for me. It's uh, Dead Witches. It's a self-titled album. It's released on Heavy Psych Sounds. Dead Witches. Looking forward to try this one. And we got an um, old band that I've known, have the most records of. It's the new Demon album. It's called Cemetery Junction. It's um, a double LP. Demon is a great band. Love, love this band. Looking forward to this one. Some Swedish rock and roll, helicopters, Super City to the Max. This is a re release on picture disc. Die Cut Sleeve. It's originally released in 1996. Great band helicopters. It's the band from uh, Nicky Andersson from Entombed. Oh. Got some more for you. I've been buying records like... Yeah. Maybe too much, but I like it. I love it. Um, Creator. Gods of Violence. Great album. I've been... Listening to this, Love Creator got all, all their albums. Also, a band I have been collecting since uh, their first one. It's Gravedigger. This is called uh, Healed by Metal. It's released on Napalm Records. Great band, great digger. German power metal. Next one is also a. Uh, it's called the new wave of trash and speed metal. Is uh, Evil Invaders. 
I don't know if they have taken this from um, the Razor song, Razor from Canada. Had a great track called Evil Invaders. This is a EP from them. It's called In For The Kill. I need some glasses. <laughs> Um, this the uh, next one here is um, is a special album. It's a um, album by some some guys from Iceland, one of the Icelandic uh, trash speed metal bands, uh, Bootlegs. Um, I got some of the earlier stuff. I think this is uh, the latest album they released. Bootlegs from Iceland. It's not so common to get by. Uh, next one is a uh, Swedish uh, band. Um, love this band. Spiders. So I get hold sleeve. It's uh, spiders. They play rock and roll like, yeah, like the helicopters. Kind of the same sound. Um, I can't do all the albums that I have been buying lately. I have to do it all night, so I have just some couple, couple of left, couple of albums left here. So I'll be finished. Um, this is uh, Bright Curse, and the album called Bright Curse. I haven't heard it yet. I got some hours of music to check out. The next one here I don't need to check out because I know the band very well. It's Rush. This is Fly Flying by Night. It's uh, released in 500 copies. And um, this is... Um, it's a radio broadcast from 1974. So um, it's a great, great piece by Rush Collectors. I buy everything I can of Rush. It's a great band. Two albums left. Witch Hazel. It's called Prelude. Rich Hazel, it's uh, kind of a doomish metal. It's on Bad Omen Records. Rich Hazel. Want to check them out. And the last one here is called Occult Ritual. Great cover art. Looks like uh, an old Venom picture. It's called Hideous Obscure. Looking forward to spin this one. So, that was some of the records that I've got this last week. I also got some tapes and CDs and yeah, another of yeah maybe 20, 30 full piece as well. So show you next time. Bye bye.